small. We'll have the teachers here. I'm the lucky one who gets to oversee this year's Nativity Play. It's always the same this time of year. We're so busy. I sometimes wonder why we bother to do a play at all. Still, no time for chatter. I must get back to the planning meeting. This is it, St. Joseph's Primary School, Drum Quinn. The principal here is uh, Mrs. Donnelly, and they have 143 children in total. They certainly have a good reputation. Lessons back in summer 2016 and rated outstanding for enthusiastic staff and a positive learning environment. Well, they won't be expecting us, so let's see for ourselves how well they're doing. She said it's really important. Oh, that was the other one. Let's go see what this one is like. Could you please?
brain, but I'm no good with a sewing machine. I have something splendid to create with just some string and sticky tape. Excuse me, Mrs. Mullen says please can you have the key to the drama cupboard. Can I have the key to the drama cupboard please, Carla? Here you are, Emer. Bring it to the bathroom. She's going to use it. Thank you. Good morning, school and privacy. I'm ready to free. Good morning. Thank you. Siobhan, Kate's fallen over and hurt his knee. Go to Mary, quick. I'll sort it. Come here till I have a look. Oh, anything juicy? Well, Raymond Moon, they bought another sofa, so he's putting the old one up for sale. Says he'll deliver it too. Let's hope it goes better than last time. And that nobody's videoing. Well, Sean O'Kane's advertising. Says his business is quiet. Should that not be businesses? Dead. Get it? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Fergal Logan called Neely Patterson up to put your own panel. Ah, uh, isn't it great to see a young lad like that getting his chance? Telling Miss Donny that the ETI inspector to here to see her. My word, what an unexpected surprise! Good morning. This is Mr. Conlon and this is Bree. We're 
ATI inspectors. For herd inspector scrub, for herd inspector teeth scrubs. We heard in fact it all. Sorry if it's not sure it was, but we won't be understand. We'll be working for quite a while, so we need the lesson plans, books, planners, and all your test scores. Just carry on and tell me. Maybe not me to Just, Just pretend, pretend that we're not here.
last week we did some writing about the news. How do you feel it? Usually it was really good. And we learned the song that we're asking for a Christmas play. That all sounds very interesting. Perhaps you can show me how far you've gotten.
Jenny's strong cup of coffee and glad I'm not on playground Jenny. Me too, the children are crazy and me are so excited for the Christmas show. As and you've got something in your hair. Oh have I? Oh dear, the pencil gets everywhere. You should have seen my class hurting that song. Even I got carried away. The parents will love it. I wonder what the inspectors make of it all. I'm not sure my class is a very good idea of a nativity. Reckon if the inspectors ask them questions, they get some the very strange answers. <laughs> <laughs> one, one boy in our, my class knows that Boris Johnson could be one of the wise men. There's ways are eating grass. <laughs> <laughs> What if I said the Skinny O'Kane could be one? <laughs> what if I said Grandma Mary from John Quinn could be one? What if I said that if they were wise, why did they give Jesus in a print jersey? <laughs> why were on the subject of the wise men? I think we better get back to our rehearsals.
Thank you for all coming along. Your teachers probably told you we'd like to have a little chat about your nativity plan. We've really enjoyed all your rehearsals. You certainly look as if you've been enjoying them too. We do one every year, sure, but this one's the best. So why do you think you do a nativity plan? Every year. It's a tradition in this country, sir. But the first nativity ever took place in a cave in Italy in about the year 1223. In those days, a lot of people couldn't read or write. So a man called St. Francis of Assisi decided to teach the people the Christmas story by performing it with people and animals from this village. I think we do it to cheer the teachers up. Really? Do you think they enjoy doing it every year? I think they really like the songs we're doing. The other day I heard Mrs. Wood singing the angel song in the toilet. I reckon the teachers have a laugh and they enjoy themselves. They like showing off their dance moves, especially with Devin. I don't think they enjoy it because it's too much hassle and stress. Miss Wong gets well stressy. Only when we forget our lines or if we forget to smile. Everyone smiled when Mary got her dress cut up in her knickers. Okay. <laughs> So what do you think you've enjoyed, you've learned about the nativity play? Baby Jesus was born in a barn. Jesus could have been born in a really fancy hotel or a posh hospital, but then it would have been a fairy tale and this is a true story. God chose some really simple, ordinary things like Mary and the donkey and the shepherds in the stable. What about the extraordinary star and the angels? They weren't exactly ordinary now, were they? Seems to me there must have been some kind of intelligent design behind all the stories, some kind of heavenly plan. Hmm. So sorry to you. I'm afraid the children aren't even back from the assembly on right. Mrs. Devon has just got back as she wants to run through a song with some of the soloists before our first performance to our evening. Thank you for your time, children. No problem. Bye. Welcome. Let's try this next song from the beginning. Let's see how well you've been practicing.
You've done ever so well. Say it next time tomorrow and there won't be a dry air in your house.
Miss Potential and Tea Turtles, I have the delightful job of seeing the children singing their hearts out and presenting us with the November Day story. It's always good when I think this year tops the lot. And I think you'd like to join me in thanking both the children and the staff for all their hard work. Can we put our hands together in appreciation?